Shalom everyone and welcome to our report from the Holy Land, boots on the ground in Israel, literally in my house. And today I want to speak real quick about the situation that Israel is involved with right now. We are in the midst of an international debate. Should Israel retaliate against the direct attack that the Iranians have launched into Israel? 180 ballistic missiles launched at Israel directly from Iran hitting some areas in the ground of Israel, but most of them been intercepted. And now Israel wants to retaliate and the U.S. is holding and twisting our arms and not letting us go through. With that, we heard uh, Biden speaking to reporters and saying, uh, answering their question, should Israel retaliate, that we are negotiating with the Americans. Negotiating with the Americans, how are we going to retaliate against the Iranians? This is a situation that Israel has to be very smart and very wise because literally we need the international coalition. We need the Americans to be standing with us as we are involved right now physically in a war, the third Lebanon war. There's troops of Israel, two big armies of Israel inside southern Lebanon right now, exposing the, 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 the plots of the enemy, revealing to us the amount of weapons that has been hidden inside civilian homes, the way they were so ready to come and invade into Israel, just like what the Hamas did, this is what the Hezbollah has done. Israel, thank God, took the right measurements before we entered into southern Lebanon. We destroyed the entire leadership of the Hezbollah. We killed Nasrallah, who was the head of Hezbollah. We, we took down most of his high-ranked officers, we have been literally preparing the land, but still we're hearing news coming out of Lebanon that we have troops that has been injured, uh, soldiers that had been killed already. But the people who lives in the northern parts of Israel, over 70,000 of them that's been displaced for the, for the last year, they need us. They need the Israeli army, the Israeli government to be resilient, to be determined to push the Hezbollah further back into the heart of Lebanon so there'll be no threats over our citizens, towns, and civilians. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm seeing in the apps that there is a barrage of rockets and missiles and, and anti-tanks anti uh, uh, explosives and all kinds of different explosives that are launched, literally launched right now into Israel. There's alarms and alerts in, in northern Israel. So yes, we didn't dismantle entirely the Hezbollah. They still have huge abilities to go against us and we need to be strong and determined. This is me from here, from Israel, asking you all to pray together with us for the peace of Jerusalem and for the victory of Israel.